exercise 4 is going to be very interesting so let's start and understand what is this exercise and what we should do okay so here is the scenario it's a very simple one but if this question is asked and you cannot answer the interview so remember your interview may go into a wrong turn it can take a wrong turn so it's a very basic and fundamental question so let's see value of the variable a is equal to 1 and b is equals to 2 very simple a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 you are free to choose the variable data type you are free whatever data type you want to choose you can choose string or integer whatever you, you are free okay create a workflow and display the output okay you have to create a workflow and display the output a plus b is equal to 3 and a plus b is equal to 12 that means if i make the data type as integer and integer and a plus b if i do output will come 3 if i make this one string and this one string then the output will be 1 2 but here the problem is you have to do both of this output in a single run so you have to design everything in a single workflow okay so the question the interviewer might ask you is it possible so your answer should be yes it is possible so there is a condition what he has given once the variable type is selected so if i am selecting string integer integer whatever i am doing okay once the variable type is selected you must not change it to achieve the results so you are not changing in between pausing changing stopping no you have to this is the condition okay you cannot change the variable type whatever you are selecting done run it and show both the outputs in a single run okay is it possible so the so your answer should be yes so many of you must have got the answer in your mind right so anyone who has not got an answer how to achieve it in a single run and i cannot change the variable type once selected okay so let's achieve it let's see okay and in case you are able to do it right if you if you know it what is the answer please type yes so i know many people are watching it and they know the answer so i'll be very happy that you are aware of a concept a very simple concept which is available on ui bar okay so let's get started okay okay so what i will do okay i can give you the answer quickly but let's understand first of all let's use a assign activity okay and we need three different variables so one is a other one is b and to store the output let me create a variable called c so that a plus b right something will come all right now what what is the value of 1 a is 1 okay and the value of 2 the value of b is 2 the problem here is it's saying you can select anything for example if i select string and integer if i select string string the output will come 1 2 if i select integer and string you have to check if both i select integer and integer it will come 1 2 so there is something that i have to do then only i'll be able to achieve it right so the answer for that is let me show you you have to go to browse for types and type system type sorry generic value it's a single word okay uipath dot core dot generic value okay this is the data type so generic value means it can take any kind of a data doesn't matter for it okay it can take any sort of data so there is a so i can achieve this output by making all my variables as generic value and i am going to show you so let me select all of it as generic okay so all things have been selected generic now what should i do there is again little trick i have to apply let's say the one i am going to if i put it in double quote okay if i put in double quote and write one this will be considered as a string if i don't put a double quote even it's generic value this will be considered as integer generic value can hold any kind of data okay so this one is holding a string and this is holding an integer okay now i will play with this what i will do i will say c is equal to so first one is string and second one is integer if i do string plus integer for example if i say a plus 
b so the first one is string right so what this will do because the first one is string the output the second one also it will become a string it will consider a string that is the benefit of generic value so what will happen here because the first a is string so it will consider a plus b is equal to 1 2 so the output will come 1 2 so we will see that similar way so i will put a message box okay and i'm going to show you the output here see so this the first output will come as 1 2 okay same way let me copy this and paste it below okay and here what i will do instead of saying a plus b the same logic i will apply and say b plus a so the b is what kind of a data type integer right b is holding an integer so because the first one is integer the second one also will be considered as integer in a generic value type so here the output will come three okay so that is the magic so let me use a message box so do it yourself you will get to understand okay so let's see the output so in single run i should be able to achieve both the outputs so let me run it okay so you can see the first output has come a plus b is equal to 1 2 because the first one is kind of a string right so the because the first variable was string so it has considered this also as a string and the generic value has come 1 2 and here the second output has come 3 getting it because b is a kind of an integer plus it was a string because the first variable was an integer so it has taken everything as an integer so that is the benefit of a generic value so the answer that you should give in your interview yes we can do it simply by choosing the all the data type as generic value and the data one of the data let's say for a i can put it in double quote i can make it a string and the other one i'll keep it as integer and i can interchange while i'm making a sum so I will say one, I will say C is equal to A plus B. The other one I could say B plus A. So I will be able to achieve both of it. Okay, quite simple, very simple knowledge. But again, I should be able to answer. Okay, in a pretty good way so that I can even impress the interviewer. Okay, this person does know about generic value. So that is a great thing. Okay, guys, I hope you would find this interesting. Please give it a like and please do share with your friends and continue all the exercises I'm going to bring in this playlist. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.